weight for this flyweight championship fight. Borg is 24. Formiga is 32. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. And he connects there, Joe. Right to the inside leg. Oh, nice punch there by Bull. Out of range with that kick attempt. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Good shots by the champion. Excellent head movement. Oh, straight to the body by an ever-improving juicy A Formiga. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. And he, he lands a huge the knee. They're certainly getting after it early. Trying to kick the leg out. He the champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang John does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. And long last, some separation here. Just unable to quite find that range. There he goes. Turning sidekick. Blocks the shot. How about that shin? First takedown attempt is there. Formiga gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks you. Battling for hooks. Now he touches him with the left. He's fainting with the punch. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. And he lands a nice kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, a huge block there. Formiga gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Nice. Strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Oh! Counter punch landed there by an ever improving juicy A for me. Oh, double jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Finds his range with the jab. Round two is next. Go, go, go. And here's a nice big round. Brittany Palmer in the building. There you go, second round. You ready? You ready? Let's All go. right, let's get to round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage early. Omega gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Defense there, huge block for him. Yeah, it's, it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his Whoa! gloves. Wow! Another shot, he's in trouble. Back up. Oh, very nice. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He locks up double underhooks. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he's really starting to 
strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice straight right lane. Punches blocked. Very nice uppercut. Whiffs on the elbow. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Punches in bunches, timing perfect. You better play better defense than that. Lands a strike there. Formiga's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, big shot. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Formiga gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good punch. is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And let's look at that again from another angle. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Bull. Formiga gets the double leg takedown. Fighters back to the feet here. Kick to the head lands. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, huge shot there. And he's looking for that left. Oh, big left. What an exchange here. Body kick, look at that. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, and he's back up again. The kick gets through. That left leg is a mess. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent. He's yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Switching stances here. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. Very nice leg kick there by Formiga. How about that shin? Working on a single leg here. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Got to figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. Tags him. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. And he connects with the punch. 
Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And there's a single attempt. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's check that out from a different angle. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These championship rounds can certainly test the endurance. Both fighters have had their moments through 15 minutes. Who can dig deep and find the strength to get the finish here in these championship rounds? Nice jab. Well, clean, tight combination there. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Feints with the punch. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Bull. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. There was a nice exchange. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Man, the champ is in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this coming? He's got him hurt here. Beautiful hook. That one appeared oh, to stop him. him though. He heard oh, him. Oh, he's out. Huge knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And here it is again. Right on the button. And there is the UFC flyweight champion. What a finish he turned in for the masses here tonight. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number four. He's going to win it by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, a Chaz Mexican Deppel. Still the UFC flyweight champion of the world, and he did it with style points here tonight as he defends the belt by way of the KO. I'm not sure I've ever seen his coaches this happy, and rightfully so, after their athlete turned in a performance like this. And Well, our tale of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Borg is 24, Formiga is 32. He you ready? You ready? Let's Schedule go. for five rounds if need be. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Ford gets caught by the inside leg. Damaging strike there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. In on a double leg takedown here. Attacking with a Peruvian necktie. Clasp his hands around his opponent's neck and under the armpit. And he gets it. Very nice. That is just an amazing technique. Getting tighter. And that will do it! Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. 
big, big result for him early in round one tonight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And one last time, excellent technique on that choke for the submission victory. So there he is, the UFC flyweight champion of the world, and what a way to get it done and leave with the gold tonight as he earns the victory by submission. The official decision Ladies is in. Referee Here's Mario Bruce Bucky. Bucky's call to stop in this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Peruvian necktie. Well, you talk about coming in and seizing the hardware. How about it for the new UFC flyweight champion of the world? He comes in and takes out the reigning king by submission. Incredible result here in the octagon here tonight. And as you can see, the celebration is on for the new undisputed king of the flies. Our tale the date for this flyweight championship fight. Formiga is one year the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for. You ready to fight? Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Got to show off the defense here. Beautiful leg kick. There's that jab. Immediately shoots for the leg. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And he's trying to pass. That flips him over to side control. And he's in full mount. Caught him with a punch. Beautifully executed sweep. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. He's in half guard. He the body here, Joe, in side control. In half guard. Posturing up now. Oh, lands a massive elbow. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. He's back in the full guard now. He's moved into half guard again. Looking to secure a choke. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then, incredible. and there it is. Just absolutely incredible. Got caught in the choke, and didn't have the time to tap. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So the celebration is on for the UFC flyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by submission. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump. And stand! So how about that effort out of the undisputed UFC flyweight champion? He defends the belt successfully by way of submission here tonight. And what a moment there in the corner as they celebrate this latest victory. It is going to take a monumental... All right, let's get to the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Borg is 24. 
for Mika is 32. He is one inch taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. here we go. The UFC Flyweight Championship of the world is on the line right now. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, head kick blocked by Bourne. Bourne gets caught with that punch. He's looking to take the back. Took the back, he's got the hooks in. And now he's working from full mount. Nice hammer fist. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Looking for the choke, looking for the choke. He's free for the guillotine. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Rayford. And he's back in the guard. We cross the midpoint in round one. Forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. Nice jab. Bohr gets in the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Over under now, Joe. Takedown attempt there. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown, Joe. That's his best shot. Nice punch there by Formiga. In half guard. He's gonna step over, full mount now. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Very nice sweep. Hits the reversal here and into full guard. 20 seconds left. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Round two next. Stop, stop. Let's see some of the action here. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. You can really see how Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's round go, two go. here. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him? Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two there by an ever improving juicy A for me. He blocks the punch. Good takedown defense. That one hurt. To show you the total strikes. Oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do. Ray Borg going for the takedown here, but he misses. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Formiga. And he scores the double leg takedown. Three minutes remain in the round. 
try to establish that jab. Oh, effective strike there by Rayburn. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Moves to half guard. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Trying to spin to the back. More slower jaw now, Joe. Starting to show some signs of swelling. He transitions to full mount. Mount again. He postures into place. This is crazy. The elbow there from top position. Surprised that one didn't open him up. Got tagged there. Pins down that wrist. He's got his wrist clasped together, the double wrist lock position. And he escaped the Kimura. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Bull. So really doing a nice job scoring points and the takedown. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. All right, round three coming up next. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Amazing highlights from that round. Here we go, third round, we're ready. Let's All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He got tagged with that uppercut. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Trying to take the back here. Keep your chin down. Protect your neck. Full guard here. And he passes. Side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He gets in a full guard here. Side control again. Half guard. Full mount. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. He's working from half guard now. He's posturing up here. Oh, Huge elbow to the head. Right back in the full guard. Or gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Under two minutes to go. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he gets out. I thought he was going to have to tap. Wow. And he's in full guard. Movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He goes upstairs for an elbow. He's in half guard here. Oh, another big elbow by Formiga. He's in half guard here. All right, 45 seconds now to go to the round. He's working from full mount again. 
gestures up. Bork's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. He secures full mount. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Half guard. Bork got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Here's a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Here we go, are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Right, maybe another takedown attempt is imminent here. It's been there when he's gone for the shot early. Now let's see if he goes for another one here. Fainting. Strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Here it is one more time, and he's out. And there is the UFC flyweight champion. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop in this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. You're playing the winner by knockout and still. So he came in as the undisputed UFC flyweight champion, and that is exactly the way he will go out after the knockout victory here tonight. You see the party is on in the corner, and rightfully so, after a hook kill to the tail of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 32. He is two inches taller. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. All right, here we go. The UFC flyweight title is on the line. This should be good. Opens with the inside leg kick. Nice kicks. Johnson gets the early takedown. That did not take long. And lands a good shot. Just missed with the left there. That one hurt. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Yeah, and here he goes again. Well, not a good look there, Joe, as he eats a shot to the body. It looks like he's becoming increasingly more vulnerable to that strike. Certainly left the body wide open on that one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Demetrius grabbing the single leg. That's a nice clean shot. 
Formiga gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Effective punch there by Trump. Look at that. Three minutes now to go in the round. Going for the single leg now. Oh! Oh, nice. Just misses with the jet. Oh, another head kick lands flush. He has got to start blocking these, Joe. One more, and he could be down on the canvas looking up at the legs. Now makes him run into the body. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Johnson. That's, again, the experience. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. Able to check that kick as well. Effective punch there by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Good shots by the champion. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, misses with the jet. Ooh, well-placed kick. Another shot. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Johnson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, spinning back fist, he solved it right there. Very nice. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. guard here in the side control. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. While the ground is down is there once again. Strong work here by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Second round on the way. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him? Good straight hand there by Formiga. Demetrius Johnson with some body shots. I would agree with you there, Joe. These body strikes. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. He's got one leg in, in between them, so he's in half guard here. Oh, huge roundhouse kick, but it's no good, Joe. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Oh! oh continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice jab. Johnson gets in the clinch. Kick to the body by Formi. Another takedown attempt here. Well, Joe. Oh! In half guard now. There we go. Nasty Ooh. elbow lands to the head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to get to side control here. Cannot pass. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Stay busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Now he goes for the single leg. There it is. He's got full guard here. Johnson's shot there is blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the round. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And he's going to try to take the back. Oh, he caught a big right hand. 
transitions to full guard. Twenty seconds left. And he connects there. Oh, elbow to the head there by Formiga. All right, that's the end of round number two. Statistics certainly back it up as you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen. And at this point, Joe, you gotta ask the question, how many more flush head kicks can his opponent absorb before it spells the end of the night for him? Exactly. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Left kick to the bottom. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. He tagged him again. A big shot to the head. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so there's a swing and a miss from him. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Fury. Oh! oh! He tagged him! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Big right hand punch for the KO. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Ba-boom! Well, a win is useful, but a knockout even more so. Nicely done by the UFC flyweight champion tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop with this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and UFC flyweight champion of the world, and he did it with style points here tonight as he defends the belt by way of the KO. I'm not sure I've ever seen his coaches this happy, and rightfully so, after their athlete turned in a performance like this. And there's got to be no better feeling in all.